Welcome to Geek Watch Toy Display Ideas, episode number two. This episode will tackle the Justice League of America's founding members. Brief comic book history, the Justice League of America was formed in the 1960s on the pages of The Brave and the Bold, number 28, with seven original members. So for the display, we need all seven members. In my process of choosing which version of the characters to display, I'm not after the most classic or the most contemporary look of the characters, but I'm after what I feel is the best representation of the characters. Let's begin with Martian Manhunter. Currently, McFarlane has two versions, the DC Rebirth and DC Classic. I opted for the Classic because that is the version that has more display options, and that is the costume that pops up in my mind's eye when we talk about Martian Manhunter. My issue with this figure, he looks a tad short and would benefit if his head was positioned a little higher for more color clearance. I'll talk about capes here and this should carry over to all other figures with cape. Yes, I would prefer a wire cloth cape for all my figures who have capes. For one, they save space and they can be placed in dynamic poses. So if McFarlane decides to re-release this figure with a cloth cape, I'm not against it. Second up is Aquaman. For my display, I have three serious considerations. First, let me get this out of the way. I normally don't mix movie figures with one based on comics or games. I find the face a little bit distracting. So, Momoa is out. The first one I consider is the Page Puncher Aquaman, but I feel that he is over-designed. Next is the DC Classic figure, but this one looks a bit cartoony. This leaves us with the Endless Winter Aquaman. Yup, old side-eyes Arthur Curry. I feel is a good mix of classic and current. And if you want to fix those side eyes, you can replace the head with the extra Barry head on the Flash figure in the Flashpoint wave, which transforms your Aquaman figure to, its, to his more classic look. But if you still want the long-haired version, just interchange the head with the speared hand Aquaman on the JLA wave. Next is Green Lantern Hal Jordan. For now, we have two options, the DC Classic one, which is the same cartoony look like the classic Aquaman, and the Green Lantern Hal with the Dawnbreaker 2-pack. I went with the 2-pack. My issues with the figure, uh, the head's big and the arms are long. Small gripes because all in all, it's a fantastic looking sculpt. Fourth member is the Flash, Barry Allen. For Barry, we have two strong contenders, the Flashpoint Wave Flash, which gives you the added benefit of having the extra head to place her on your Endless Winter Aquaman, though in terms of character design, I think he will fit better if you're building this with the DC Classic Green Lantern and Aquaman. For my display, I wanted the DC Rebirth Flash. The design is a great modernization of his classic costume. Unfortunately for me, the only one I got is the two-pack with Red Dead. So I'm stuck with a crazy looking Barry. Next figure is Wonder Woman. And I think there is really one version that should be in your display. But I like to mention the Endless Winter Wonder Woman because for the longest time, she was my placeholder. And now I sort of consider her as the Queen Hippolyta version of Wonder Woman. And the Wonder Woman on most McFarlane display would be the Collector Edition. She's a classic looking Wonder Woman with some modern flares. Then we go to the fan favorite character, Batman. This one is a bit tough, and McFarlane doesn't make it easier because 90% of their figures are Batman. This would fall on the preference of the collector. For me, my Batman is black and gray, and my top three would be the three Jokers Batman, Nightfall Batman, and my personal favorite is the Hush Batman. Too bad for me, I have the one from the two-pack, so I have the snarling version. Another issue with this figure is he's too tall. And finally, we have Superman, the 9% in McFarlane's DC Multiverse production. Also, this boils down to preference. I'll present you my top 3 choices, and all of them I feel has scaling issue. They all feel short, especially when you display them as part of DC's trinity. Superman is my favorite character, and I feel bad that I don't have a definitive figure yet. Anyways, here are some suggestions for your JLA display. Superman hash, everything quote-unquote Superman is in this figure, but the face doesn't feel right. The so-called DC classic Superman, 
who is looking very modern with his embossed ash shield and highly stylized belt. But the youthful face and slender frame makes this figure more like the Superman who joined the legions of superheroes. And for now, your best bet is still the Action Comics number 1000 Superman. Just post him on the fly stand so he won't appear like a midget. Another issue is his single jointed elbows. But aside from those glaring issues, he is definitely the best looking Skull Classic Superman. So that completes our Justice League of America founding members display. Do you agree with my suggestions? Or if you can do better, please blast it in the comment section. Please like and subscribe!